what do you think is going to happen with Israel? I see brinkmanship and I, I see Netanyahu running out the clock to either finish off Gaza or be finished himself. And I think he's putting all of Israel in existential risk. That's correct. And that's what Seymour Hirsch in his d article released today said the same thing. This is Bibi's war. And Bibi is, is continuing this work. He has a vested interest in keeping it going because when it ends, he's finished. Uh, and I think it puts Israel at great existential risk. Uh, it's actually... So the, uh, Murray Rothbard, the greatest libertarian thinker who ever lived, said, war is both the... It is both the epitome and the the apex of st of the state it's its greatest expression if you will but it's also its most uh precarious uh dangerous uh, policy because it could lead to its ex to its eradication and that's what i think is at risk here this is they're putting the state of israel bb and company uh and he has much more even more radical right, whatever we want to call it, right wing. I don't know what to call it anymore. Authoritarian, uh, authoritarian, and uh, uncompromising uh, Zionist supremacists behind them, uh, who who are pushing this. That it would even go further. Uh, but in any case, I think they're putting Israel at great risk, uh, and I think that it, it comes out either. Uh, getting a, a conflagration into a conflagration with uh, several other nations that border it and, and even beyond that, uh, where it expands. Uh, it's one of the two. It's either going to expand or it's going to get wiped out. I, I don't think in today's information age uh, the status quo will hold anymore. No. You know, it's taken a lot of evolution of people understanding propaganda, even through these recent years with understanding of woke propaganda. Mm -hmm. um, we've matured as as consumers of media, mm -hmm. that the, the world, and we see the information in like, real time now. And so people are starting to say, ah, I see through that, that's bullshit, that's bullshit, that's bullshit. And I hope that the powers that be in Israel somewhere come to the realization that it's critics are doing so, not out of out of, not, out of not, friendship, out yes. of, not not out of malice, not out of right. anti-Semitism, but because we want to save your ass. Yes, I think that's right. So, what good is a friend? What kind of friend are you if you would give your friend advice and the money and the resources to hang themselves? Uh, that would be a bad friend. So, a better friend is a friend that says, no, you can't drive drunk or you, you know, I'm going to take your keys. Actually, you're not going, you're not going to drive tonight. That's the way it is. Uh, yeah. and saves you from yourself. That's real friendship. So I don't think we're acting as their friend at all in a real, uh, in a, in a real sense. I think we're actually doing them a disservice. <laughs>